And we are live. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Canadian guy here, and we are back with yes, Crash Tag Team Racing. It has been literally years since I have played this game. I mean, literally years. It's been a long time. Uh, and uh. <laughs> And already we're starting with two donations to start off the stream. We got five dollars from Harper Onions, donating five pounds. Ah, yes, the point where Engine further lost his money and became a zombie. Coco Nina started a feud with Crunch and became Mr. T stereotype. That I believe is correct. Yes, thank you so much for the five pounds. Then the Chuck Norris, the person who requested this game. And the person that I said that I would play this game, I was like, you know what? I'll play this game. And uh, so you guys can thank the Chuck Norris. Uh, donated $50. Five zero fifty dollars through Streamlabs. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I appreciate that. You didn't have to do that. But yes, you, uh, you had made uh, a, a request. And I was like, you know what? All right, let's do it. So, so how is the volume? Is something too loud? Something too quiet? Let me know, and I can try to fix it. Enter the park. Uh, yes. Now, like I said, it has been a hot minute since I played this game. Top of the morning and the cock -a doodle do sports fans. Chick Gizzard Lips here, welcoming you to the farewell race at Von Clutch's Motor World. <laughs> That's right, Chick Baby. On what might be the final day of operation, Von Clutch will surely have to turn out the lights on his lifelong dream. Von Clutch, the deranged genius cyborg. I'll make sure I read everything as soon as this is over. Auto racing theme park. Indeed. The park's tracks have wreaked terror on its participants. Too gruesome for this reporter to describe <laughs> over the air. Well, I ain't got a problem with it. Man, you ever put a big ham in a wood chipper? <laughs> I know I have. <clears throat> oh, sorry. But now old Von Clutch's power gems have been stolen. Giving Von Clutch just a few hours to get his power gems back. Oh, it's slam dunk. Thank you, punk. Ebenezer Von Clutch is now risking his park. Is that a CM Punk reference? Sorry. Stakes, no holds barred race. Race contestants must survive a gauntlet of each of the park's five lands and recover every one of the power gems that have been stolen. A lot of membership messages. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> it's only a matter of time before we do away with these meddlesome rodents forever. <laughs> oh. Pasadena, really? I have only a short time left before I am Kaputsky. We must find more racers. Is there no dumb cast among you to accept the challenge of the greatest race of all time? What, what, what is he wearing here? Well, sports fans, it appears we found our dunk cars. Nice driving, fool! Nice driving, fool. Okay, newbie, to walk on All right. So we got a couple of things that came in. Hotshot has been a member for 24 months. Two years. Two years. Uh, announcer voice. Start your engines for Sony Computer. Wait, was this made? No. Sierra Entertainment? Well, okay. Start your engines for Sierra Entertainment Productions. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate all the support for the past two years, Hotshot. You are amazing. Dr. Rank, Super Chat, $5 to Super Chat. Uh, the speedrun strat for gift shop completion uses seven PSPs, more coins per race, and fewer things to buy since characters are random. Seven PSPs. Jeez. Do you imagine? All right, I'm going to speedrun this. Guys, get me my seven PSPs, please. And then the gaming pads donated $5 through Streamlabs. Thank you, thank you, 
Thank you so much. I used to love this game as a kid, and to this day, even though the racing isn't the greatest, it's still a really fun game. I think I may play alongside with you. Well, go right ahead if you would like to. All right. So let's keep going. Small objects might All right. require you to jump move to get over. Now hit that X button, and let's see you do jump. just a single leap, jump. Leap, Come on, feel leap. it, baby. Ow! The double jump. Or distances required. Spin the attack. There we go. You know, We're hitting all the things. Even inside certain objects. Collect that coin, baby, and spend it like crazy on new stuff. Bling bling. Bling bling. Body yo, slam. Yo. There we go. All right, let's keep going. Wumpa whip. Quick! More Wumpa Whip! Shuffle, 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 shuffle. Okay, you've reached your first lap. Somebody get a picture. To climb a ladder, <laughs> press the X button to jump on. Who is the voice actor again again of uh, Chick? Place is a dump. Sometimes the floor will just give way under you. Jeez. Play safe and jump over them. Almost died there. Hey, Sir Dentless, how's it going? Okay, you gonna love this one. Jump pads allow Crash to jump to otherwise inaccessible locations. Yep. To do it, press the X button. You spin me right. Oh, that's right. I forgot to have uh, Twitch's chat up. There we go. Who? Okay, so if, if it's this Quentin fellow, who? what other games has he done? Because I have heard his voice probably everywhere. Maybe not everywhere, but I have heard it quite often. I've heard it, and I was just like... There we go. What is the meaning of this? Have you any idea with whom you are dealing? Several renowned evildoer Dr. Neo Periwinkle Cortex. I have all your games. <laughs> but... I <laughs> think... All is lost for Von Kutch, but when I see my favorite video heroes, my innards tingle with joy. Well, tingle all you want. I have an appointment with world domination. Nine. Nine. Of my power gems. Whoever is first to bring all the power gems wins the ownership of my park. And look. Even my beloved black power gem is gone. Perhaps this is the answer to our dilemma. This strange theme park is fertile ground for us to plant a new seed of evil. Yes. A new sinister base, all the churros we can eat, and rid ourselves <laughs> of the bandicoot. Yes, of evil. Time. <laughs> I'm so fast. I'm Pasadena Opossum. I'm racing for old Von Clutch, and I'm going to whoop you, that's for sure. So, if I win, you'll hand over the deed to this amusement enterprise? No questions asked? Perhaps a riddle or two! Holy cannoli! <laughs> what is that thing? Ah, oh, that's my trolley pack mascot, Willy Wumper Cheeks. Willy? <laughs> Crush like, uh -huh. Clutch, we're in. Where do we start? Hailey, highly ho! To the statue you must go! This way or that, fall down, you go splat! And everyone thinks you're a schmo. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Quick! Need all the coins for the Vampa! Florida has been a member for 50 months. Five, zero, 50 months. Could never figure out what the knobs on Von Clutch's legs were about, but uh, this, but felt this game was fun. Thank you so much for the, uh, for being a member for 50 months. That's what? Uh, math, 36 is three, 48 is four. So you've been a member for over four years. Goodness gravy. It sounds like since the membership program it wasn't like enabled. Mr. Island Gate in the midway. Okay. Let's go to 
here. Happily ever faster. That's right. I'm. Two weeks a year vacation, and I'm spending it here. Jeez. All right, there, kid. <laughs> Crash commits a ass assault and battery. Complete missions to unlock additional vehicles. See that fine ride over there? Yeah, that shiny vehicle. Crash? Oh, Crash, thank goodness you're here. I've been trying to get this car working, but that stupid know-it-all-know-nothing Nina stole my fusion unit. You've got to get it back for me. This car will be the best thing ever. And stuff. <laughs> and, and stuff. There we go. Yeah, I remember the bowling mini game. That's right. Like for tomorrow, it was raining from Metal Gear Solid. Was the second voice actor. Gotcha. Okay. That's. Jeez, that was a hard freeze. Doctor Rank donated five dollars through super chat again. Fun fact: you can get to happily ever faster early. Just grab the ledge through the bridge. But we're not going to break the game, at least not this early. Come on, there we go. Thank you again, though, for the $5. I appreciate that, Dr. Rank. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Alright, uh... Place that in there. Quick, I might want Wumpa Whip! Yes, Tentor Cortex. Yes! Yo ho ho, in a bottle of Wumpa Whip. Ahoy, mateys! Batten down your hatches and swap my poop deck, says I. <laughs> Avast there, ye swabs! Salty adventure awaits ye beyond these cursed. I will try to do the kill scenes and gags. I will try. Thank you, Mr. Cheeks. Yes, race fans, a bounty of booty awaits you in this our <laughs> first of booty. race challenge. Thrill to the terrors of Tiki Turbo. Endure the perplexing pirates of the carburetor and defeat the insidious delusions of deep sea driving. Master these dangerous tracks and find greater challenge in the battle arena. Where unhinged lunatics compete for trivial prizes. <laughs> this exciting stoop. You know I'm excited. Get going, Crash, and show me what you got. All right. Uh, I lost my Wumpa Whip. <laughs> Time for some new threads, baby. When you come across a person with a shirt icon above their head. Hang on. Before we get any threads, let's get some... Uh... Diorama 32, Jod. Ha! Jod! Alright. I need to talk to you. Hey! Yo! Crash Bandicoot! <laughs> Crash Bandicoot! Yesterday, some adventurer schmuck thought he could race the tracks and find the missing power gems. Oh, well, there ain't much left of him except these slightly used adventurer duds. <laughs> I'd uh, give them to you, but I got little gas masks to feed. Oh, and the suit won't cost you a treasure. Get it? Did I really subconsciously put tag team... No, no, oh, yeah, I know. From Grandma, by the way, the title says Crash Tag Team Rumble, not racing. Thank you so much. Yes, but it says Tag Team Rumble, question mark, and then Crash Tag Team Racing live stream. So, it, it works. Hey there, look at 
it works. But thank you for the five dollars. I appreciate it. I gotta hand it to you, kid. You're gonna look pretty sharp. I just hope you do a little better than that suit's last occupant. Don't ask me what happened. Forget about it. All right. Let's race. Uh, all right. We'll start with easy and then we'll get, we'll increase afterwards. Because I got to remember what in the world I'm doing. Yep, yep. Now pay attention, homeboy. Press the X button to accelerate and press the square button to break and reverse. Two donations right back to back. Use the left analog stick or the okay, one second. buttons to steer. Go ahead. You'll be bloated with control when you try it. All right. So we got $5 from Dr. Rank. Diorama 7, The Smell of Money. The one uh, with the cow uh, in Tombtown was cut from the Japanese version. Really? Why? Thank you so much for the $5 and the fun fact. Followed by David. Man, we've got a donation train going on here. This is amazing. Uh, they should re uh, release a game or film on his 30th B-Day for Crash. Yep, yeah, probably. I think that would be a good time to do it. Alright, to clash with another vehicle, press again to separate. Okay. Yeah. Power ups to help win the race. Don't drop me in the. Oh, okay. Weapons and other special power up goodies can be found inside. Use them wisely, my young apprentice. Hey, sports fan, let me into the start power slide. Okay. You can use it to corner back. I am losing. I am losing very badly right now. Wanna drive? Wanna shoot? Hey, you can do either with the swap move, baby. Press the R1 button to swap places between the driver and the gun. This one's for those who can't make up their mind. Hey, hey! After collecting a weapon okay, or a go. power up item. Ow. All right, come on, and backwards. So just, I'm, I'm assuming power sliding is what allows me to uh, uh, how do I boost again? That's not the button. Wrong button. Oh. I'm... Okay, hold on. So. Hey, man. That turret you got getting tired? If you want to shoot a different turret gun. Go down, Von Clutch! Bye, Crunch! on tight. So you have to just kind of keep tapping the power slide, right? All right, we did it.
All right, first ma first race done. Power crystals are hidden around the world, and several of them may be needed to access important landmarks. That said, what may you need? Need to tap to the brake once, landmarks. and you can keep sliding. Okay. Right up. Because it was like I thought it was like you know keep tapping, right? More intelligent than you look. All right, let's see here. Let's do race again. Except we'll do this and we'll do hard. And we'll try it again, even though I'm probably going to lose this time. Yeah, that, that that that's a lot better. <laughs> they should take your license. Cause you're stupid. Yes. There we go. Hasta la vista. Ah, why I was boosting? Come on now. <laughs> yes, run from engine. Flash with Nina. My caution with, with Dr. Engine. <laughs> yes. That was, that was grand. I love that. Harper, uh, donate five pounds to Super Chat. King A, are you going to try to unlock the track shortcuts in the overworld? I did not even know that was a thing. So I, I guess I will try, yes. Hello. Keyword is try. Wow, that's a whole lot of love. There we go, jump up here, jump, 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 
job. There we d d Leapeth, landeth. It's been a while since I've said that. Said that. Ninja penguins! Ninja penguins! Again, thank you so much for the five pounds. I appreciate that. Pirates are the carbur carburetor. I get, the, I get the word they were trying to go for. They, they, there was an attempt. All right, so I'm going to try easy again because I still have no idea what I'm doing. But all right. There we go. All right. You play way too hard. His hands feel cringe. <laughs> Enjoy, engine. <laughs> Lots of good drifting corners here. Anyone like like even remotely caught up with us? <laughs> oh well, bye. He enjoys a monkey. Die. Get this. <laughs> whoa, whoa, time out. Who's the monkey? Ow. Deuces. Go. Final lap. There's someone tailing me, Cortex. It's you, Cortex! How dare you? Okay, then we're gonna go. Oh, jeez! Average channel donated two pounds through Super Chat. Thank you so much. Let's see if this will work. Oh, jeez. I goofed that. I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to do that. It was a wrong button press, Cortex. It was wrong. Sayonara! No! I, I won. <laughs> this game was a stinker, utter cringe crumpet. Oh. oh that's, a, that's a shame that you feel that way. Thank you for the two pounds, but... I think it's not bad. See? For real?
obsolete mule! Thank you so much for the $38 through Streamlabs. Well, since my old account was nuked, I noticed that this one has my name in green. Are you able to see who did it so I can thank the user in chat? Thank you so much. Ah. Uh... Thank you again for the $38. Um, I might be able to? Give me a second. Keywords might. Um, let me see here. Uh, oh, you know what? I might be able to quickly just check. Uh, I might be able to quickly check just by doing this. Give me a second here. Come on. Uh, bum. Now again, the keyword here is might. I'm not sure if I'll be able to. Uh, wait, memberships. Um. So real quick. Let's see here. Uh, so crayons and things gifted five memberships. Gifted to Madeline, Pirate Novelist, Arnold Franklin, and Shadow Tree. Then crayons and things became a member. Uh, Harper gifted one sub that went to Harper Onions. Uh, it isn't coming up so you're gonna have to forgive me on that it's not popping up um yeah, i'm not sure obviously mule um but because yeah i can't see i can't seem to see that and i do apologize for that Oh my gosh, we're getting donations. Man, we're getting like a whole bunch of donations. This is crazy, man. Um, all right. Those funny fart burp sounds have changed my mind. Well, there you go. Thank you so much for the two-pound super chat. Harper Onions donated five pounds to super chat. I can't get it. There seems to be at least one shortcut in almost every hub world, but maybe not at all. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, for some reason... Uh, no, no, that's all the right one. I'm just going to make sure that that was all of them. So, okay. Again, thank you, everybody. Uh, your kindness and generosity has been absolutely, like, crazy. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right, let's try this again. Uh, yes, my ocular cavity. It hurts. It hurts a lot. Yes. I don't know why it skipped me. But I'm not going to complain about it either. I don't know where that screaming... Ow! Jeez, everyone's just throwing these flame things all over the place. <laughs> Bye. 
Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. My car is about to explode. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. There's a chicken for you. Ow. Sayonara, ya. Yeah. Why? I was fine! And then all of a sudden it's like, no. By the way, what happens if you finish... Uh, like... W w if you're finished fused with somebody. So, like, what happens if you're in second, you're trailing right behind, and then you clash with them right at the last second as you cross the finish line? Who wins? You're both first. <laughs> well, oh, come on. Bye, Cortex! <laughs> oh, please tell me that put him in second. It did! <laughs> Excuse me, Buster, but where were you when they went over the rules? Ah, uh, so I f he's coming up. He's he's coming up to race into me. I clash into him. And then his boost gets run out, and then I just slingshot off from him through the finish line. All right. You know, I could have been nice. Like, we could have just finished together, but nah. Nah, 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 nah. Ugh. One second, uh... Oh, <laughs> One second, crash, you menace! Why is this all over the place, why? Why do, th why do programs need to change their UI? They need to stop, They're just... Stick with one. Don't ever update things ever. How dare they? I'm just straight up assuming that this cannon will... Oh. Well, they already got this one. Now, sports fan, when you run... Why do I want to buy power crystals? Crash, you want to buy crystal? Good and cheap, like new, but not. Use very little. You give me coins, I give to you. Jeez. All right, I guess we buy it for it. Oh, big spender with lots of money wants to buy beautiful crystal, no? It's good. It's good, now, yeah. I retire to fabulous island and never return to this trash heap country. <laughs> well, buddy, whether to put your granny in soap bubbles, you call that space program? I laughed. <laughs> <laughs> this, was, this thing's going to kill me, isn't it? Well, that wasn't nice. Is 
is just literally just walk up and just like just Henchman abuse. Uh, ooh, is there a crystal over here? Crystals. Of course. Uh, can't even reach that from here. Probably not. Stand if I can maybe try to cheese it. Well, it's this. <laughs> hey, Slice and Dice, how's it going? Hey, Mr. Big Shot. It, it, you're not referring to me, are you? Whoa, why, why, why did the game all of a sudden... Okay, that was... Why do I suddenly have a black square around me? Why are we getting emulator issues suddenly? We were fine the whole time. All of a sudden we have an emulator issue. Why? Oh, Crash. <laughs> yes, Mr. Crash. You are reasonable, aren't you? You like to listen to propositions from engine. I need a plutonium fuel cell for my new vehicle. <laughs> Find me enough beautiful plutonium, and I will reward you. Oh, okay, I see Bob. Coins. I was about to say, I hope you're not referring to me. Why? Why did it do this? It shouldn't shouldn't have done this. Why? Hold on. Let me, uh, let me just quickly look this up. Hold on. Hey, Braxton Richens, uh, uh, donate a dollar through Streamlabs. I really wish they would port this to modern consoles. I would even take the PSP version on PS10. After Nitro Field, this is my favorite Crash Racing game. It it's definitely cute. It's definitely cute. Uh, Average Channel, thank you for the five pounds. Um, oh, come on. Um... I don't know, if, you know, I, I apologize, but I am not going to be reading that comment, but uh, I appreciate the, the support. I appreciate the support. Why is this all, all of a sudden just being a butt? Why are you being a butt? Stop being a butt. Okay. All right, give me a second here. Let me just reboot this real quick. Hopefully it's just a quick fix. That is not the version I used. There we go. That seems to fix it for now. There we go. We fixed it. Yeah. 
one side in here. One second. Nick Joseph donated a dollar through Streamlabs. Thank you so much. Why is this doing that? There we go. Hey, so you hope you're doing well. Congrats on your newborn coming uh, soon later this month. Also, so psyched for Spyro. Don't worry about what I was thinking, man. After CT Rumble, I put my full trust in you. So I believe you both Spyro for being in development. I appreciate that. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Speaking of, 3D printed this earlier. Ta da! The little polygonal Spyro. About the, about the size of a pop can. Print, this was done about an hour before the stream started. So, yeah. Purple boy! Alright, what is the quest for Crunch? Oh, look at Buddy over there just going. He's just going. Crash! What's up, little brother? Enough jibber jabber. I need help. I found a ride that needs drive. You gonna help me? We bring the hurt. Eat your greens. Float old crunch alone. Low interest. I buy that ride and word. We bounce. To crunch in the midway to unlock new vehicle. Okay, sure. Sure. Gotta respect you, Crash. Your big brother needs help. You give it. You a tight dude. Let's roll. Any wheel. chance I could pick Just up a spiral from you? All good if you're not. I mean, I, I am thinking about it. That's what I, I, I am thinking about, you know, selling stuff like this. Um, so, if, I mean, if you, if you want, I can, you know, we can maybe work something out. Because I, I, I am thinking about starting, you know, selling some stuff. Actually, I do have to take one quick break. I do want to show you guys something real quick. It is very dorky and it's very out there. And some of y'all are going to be like, what in the world? Hold on a second. Ladies and gents, my biggest, I, my, I think my biggest 3D print ever, technically. <laughs> So, uh, for the uninitiated, I know if El Chavizzi's in chat, he'll lose his mind, maybe. This is Frostmourne. And, uh, I 3D printed it. And, uh, it is, it is large. <laughs> it is about, uh, about close to five feet tall close to it comes up to my chest uh, if you're familiar with the worlds of of the world of warcraft you would know this uh you would know this blade very well so i did that i'm waiting for some of the stuff to dry on that there's two parts of it that i have missing but don't worry because i have right here and here i have the uh the pommels uh they broke while 3d printing so i had to i've been repairing them and sanding them but uh they're almost done so the frost morn hungers my patience has ended <laughs> so but yeah i uh i put that together um because why not because i wanted to because uh i I've always wanted, I've always wanted Frostborn. I've always wanted it, um, uh, but every time I would go to a convention, it would be made of metal and would cost like three, four hundred dollars, and I'm just three, four, five, six hundred dollars even. And the problem was is that it's not 
cosplay safe. So that means like if anybody were to try to use it as a prop, they couldn't because it's made of metal. Um, the, that's nightmare fuel. But anyway, um, finally, I was like, you know what? I could print it and then it's cosplay safe. So I could walk around with, um, I could walk around with that at a convention and not get, you know, screamed at. Van Clutch's lanes. Here we go. Do, do, do. By the way, I got some I got some more purple filament. So, what do you what should I 3D print next? I'm curious. What do you guys think? Come on. Nope. I, well, I botched that one. Yeah! Spare! I'll take it. The Spyro Trophy. Turd! Turd! Yeah! Strike! Alright, let's try this again. There we go. Get him! Oh, come on! Yeah, another attempt? Since when? What kind of bowling is this? We could do Aku Aku. Got him. This isn't the bowling I remember. Actually, I lied. I do remember having many ulcers while trying to. Oh, uh, yeah. From the last time that I put. Ah, I got a strike! Let's go! I've been hearing some stuff about the outlaw situation, and I think it's, it, it, I think it's so ridiculous it should be outlawed. Not to be so on the nose, but let let's let's speak some truths here because why in the world, how in the world, can outlaws have be charging that much money? It is like actually like bore it, it, it feels like it's criminal. Jeez. All right, let's go like this and boop and I'll take a Fancy spare? Ooh, yeah, ooh. Ooh is right. 
This isn't going to work well, is it? Ah! Yeah, buddy! <laughs> Strike! Dr. Cortex. I don't think this. I am not going to be able to remotely get a spare on this one. Yeah, no. We're doing it again, Dr. Cortex. fast apparently is that good is did I do did I I was six off from the gold are you kidding me ah pain all right give me hold on, give me one second here um Yeah, let me look at let me look on Thingiverse, see what there is for Crash Bandicoot. Goodness me, hold on. Um, trying to look at some of the Crash Bandicoot files and models and stuff, and uh, some of them are not. There, some of them are not great, so I'm just trying to find a good one. Okay, so I'm going to do something really quick. We're going to try something. We're going to do something different. Then we're going to do this one. Like that, like that. There we go. Okay, so we're going to we're going to try to do something real quick. If you guys don't mind for the 3D printer. Just you guys can give me a moment here. We'll delete that. I'm not going to be using this. That's way too big. All right, so what we're going to do is I'm going to quickly grab this real quick. All right, so we got Aku Aku here, right? But I want to also print on top of it this as well as kind of a fusion. 
and be like a fusion ha type of situation. Uh, oh, you know what? No, we're not going to do this. I'm, I know what we're going to do. Some of y'all might start freaking out. If some of y'all recognize what this is. Uh, how big can I make this? Without it going too, too crazy. How big can I make it? That is too big. Can we go a little bit bigger? Just a smidge too big? Okay. How big can we make this? What is the biggest... Uh, the boundary, okay. 172. Okay. 172.5. Okay, it's too big. 172.3. Okay. What about 170.4? Okay, it's too big. Okay. 35. Okay. And <laughs> we're gonna... 36. Three seven, three eight. Ah, we we found we found the biggest thing that we could print this with is a hundred and seventy two point seven three. I gotta write this down because I I got one seventy three point three seven. Okay. Uh, <laughs> this thing's gonna be ridiculous. Uh, okay. Can I print this without supports? I might be able to. If we go point, if we go with ten percent. Uh, the layer lines are thick on this thing, so I think I can go a little bit more, and I think I can go with point two eight. I think. I think I can go with 0.28. Uh, supports, we'll go with tree, but we'll go with 20%. Uh, One second. I just, I really want to see how long this is going to take me if I were to do it. So this is the biggest that I can make this statue. How long will this take? I'm curious. And how much filament? Eight hours and 18 minutes. It uses 313 grams of filament. Should I do it? Because that, and then I have to print the wings afterwards. I have, I have purple filament. That's what I did this out of. Should I do it? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let me just make sure that there's nothing That's f too, too crazy. I think we should be okay. All right, we'll do it. Print plate. Send. Let me just go double check to make sure that there's nothing on the printer plate. Like, no, uh, nothing dirty. Nothing. Oh, yeah. And an update on my 
last time from you I saw for uh Yep, we got this nice and printed now. Uh, we got a nice uh, even coat on it. Even got some weathering done on it too. Just need the visor for it and this piece is done. So Mando, Mando's helmet is just about done. I just need a visor and I'm good to go. Okay. So let's head back to... So... There we go. No, oh, I love this game. It's good. A lot, of, yeah. A lot of people have been saying that. A lot of people are coming in. So now, Bam Bam is going to get to work on that, and that statue should be done by tomorrow morning. It actually should be done by 4... It'll be done by 4 a.m. And then I get to do the wings. <laughs> Game over. Big Bang Theory. Ha, 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 ha. Funny. Yeah, blow it up. Yeah, just blew the entire game. Like, just the entire park. Everybody died. <laughs> But, uh, yes, as someone v very earlier asked, I, I caught, and then I forgot to answer it, and now I'm answering it now, because, you know, my memory is as good, good as a goldfish recently. Uh, yes, uh, the baby is due on the 28th of April. Which, of course, means that once the baby comes, I'm going to be taking, you know, some time off. Because, you know, of course I would, because that's my, that's going to be my son. A little boy and uh, also I also have to take time off to protect my wife from herself because she's just like I can do it I can give birth and then immediately get back in doing things I'm like no no you can't you need to rest so uh, yeah I basically have to save my wife from herself Which is, uh, <laughs> funny thing to think about it. I already did this one, didn't I? Thank you, Panba. I appreciate that. Oh. Yo. And dies. <laughs> You're super dead. I'm. J I try to be. I try to be. At times, I feel like I'm super dork. Uh. All right. Great. Sharked. Nom. That's right, Joshua. Hey, Trev, how's it going? How you doing, my friend? There 
go. But yes, I am baby number four, and this is the last one. Oh. I didn't even know there was lava up here. But yeah, no, this is... This is the last straw, Dr. Cortex. I cannot handle any more children. I love them. But they also take my sanity. <laughs> hey, Conky, how's it going? No, I'm going to make sure this is our last one. <laughs> I'm making sure. I'm like, Doctor, get the scissors. <laughs> I'm going to be dealing with a lot of, yep. Yeah, we do. It's a boy. Oh, you lucky dog. Welcome to the granddaddy of all demolition derbies. All right. Battle arena. Drive or shoot to win Wumpa Court. But play safe, kiddies. Watch where I'm driving. What? Why? Why does my CPU get stuck? Did I just hear engine say, don't fear the reaper? Did I hear that right? Or, or has a 3D print filament gotten to my brain and, you know, uh, addled it because... My da uh knees. Who's getting all smoky smoky? Rolling rampage. Just imagine all all the things that were said here in the voice of like the um Halo announcer. Rolling rampage. Killing spree. Out of the way, dog do 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 Yes, my plutonium. It works perfectly. Yes. Oh, I get you that she has a thing for Crash, but, you know... Salmon churros. <laughs> need to do a little sitting around, but Ew. Can't because my head's too big. I mean, look at me. I stick out like a chocolate bar in a swimming pool. <laughs> if 
I'm going to get to the bottom of this. What? I need you to get me something black and slimming to wear. I don't want my butt to look so big. <laughs> the cortex in the stair. Okay. It might as well, it, it's no, it's not blind, but it has been a hot minute, so it might as well be blind. Yeah, I know she has a thing for crash. I know that. Oh, and this is from the wiki. Howdy, Crash. You look like you got to go potty. Want me to show you where the outhouse is? What? Jonathan! Hey, buddy! Say hi to you. Come here. No, why? Why do you gotta grab the microphone? Always. Yeah? Hey, what? Wow. You wanna hold on to that for a bit? What's that? What's that? It's the boy. Wow. You can take that with him. Careful, he's a little sharp. Hi everybody. <laughs> Hi. Can you say hi? Yeah, we were about ready to go to bed. What's and that? then David came and drained the water. Of course he did. That? Full court. <laughs> yeah. Whew. You know, I gotta get some water too and I gotta run to the bathroom. So why don't we go get some Ooh, water? I could go to the bathroom. Yes, and then you can go to the bathroom so that I'll hold him so you can go to the bathroom. Seven. All right, why don't you go do that then? I'll be here. Thank you. All right. Can we not touch that? Thank I'll you. hold on to him for a few minutes. Thank you. No. No? What do you mean no? You want to hang out with daddy for a few minutes while mama does her business? We gotta let mama do her business. <laughs> no. You gotta reach out and grab everything, don't ya? That's a microphone, yeah. Mm-hmm. D. D? D? Yeah? The rope. Yeah, can you see Daddy? What is that? What is that? That's paint. Can you say hi? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That? That's the controller. Why? Why? Because that's what it is. Bye. No, we're not saying bye quite yet. What's that? Yep, that's it. Yeah, Jonathan is taking over the stream. I am but I am but the servant to you. What would you like to stream, my good sir? Yes, I understand you also have silence as an answer. No, you must not touch that. You can touch that, but it, it, it's going to be rough. That's a sanding sponge. It doesn't feel nice. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't feel nice, does it? Oh, no, you were literally pulling it out. The sanding sponge. So you put the spiral figure down for a sanding sponge. Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Uh-oh. 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 It's okay. Daddy will grab that later. Uh-oh. 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 Oh, you're a duck. Oh, hello. Hi. Yes. Ugh, it's a rough. Hands are wet too. <laughs> and he's paling it fine. You grab it you're like eh eh. I have the extra grab him. He does. He, he clearly does. And he was fine with it. All right. Is that your spiral for now? Okay. Bet you're a terror, Jonathan. Um. No, not a terror, but definitely a, a little gremlin. A little gremlin troll. He teases his sister on purpose. It's really funny. He, yeah. 
Like he comes running out of the room laughing like a hyena. little hyena as his sister's screaming because he spit on her. Yep. He does it for fun. He thinks it's funny. Hi. But he also But does... he's also a big hugger. Oh yeah, he loves it. Oh, what's with the disgruntled face? You, you pulled his hair and he looked at me like upsetty spaghetti. Oh, you have the lip in your hair. Oh. All right. That's daddy's. Give That's it to daddy. Yeah. I need that back, please. It's a cap. Thank you. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> All right. Real quick. Got, let's get some water and I go to the bathroom. So, whoo, say bye. Nah, that's good enough. Yeah. <laughs> that's cool stuff to buy. I thought Hope was a terror. <laughs> Not quite a terror. More just high energy burst of lightning. <laughs> Hi, I, I have no fear of death. All right, I'll be right back. What are you making? I am make. I am stress. It's a stress test. I am seeing if Gosh. I. What? Why are you stress testing it? Well, why not? Because I want to see how big. Forty-eight can you go? hours. Uh, uh, eight hours. Oh, I think you forty-eight. You know, eight hours. Uh, this is the statue of Malifor from uh, the Legend of Spyro. There you go. All right, be right back. Chess stream.
Sorry, everybody. Oh. Okay, here we go. Where am I? There I am, okay. Okay, trying to get to race number three. Is this death? I, yes, I guess it is. So how am I supposed to get just like that. Okay. Just making sure I was like, can't be deep sea driving. Let's do it. As Crunch Bandicoot. Okay, we just have a mini, just a straight up mini gun. All right. Bye, Von Clutch. Or I could just get Trident. All right, cool. <laughs> nice try, Turkey. Ow. Hey, 42, how's it going? Enjoy chicken. If I just wanted to cheese it, I could literally just stay here. Cow. <laughs> like, here's the thing about this game. You can just cheese it by doing this. You're, I'm in first. I just stay looking behind. Cow. <laughs> like, like, man. I can just do this. And then I launch and he doesn't even get first. 
Right? Because if I go... Yeah, see? Mug Clutch is second. I get a bunch of KOs. Strategy. Let's do it. Quit with your jibba There we go. Can you dig it, fool? Can you dig it, sucker? I need to refresh. Time to be bad. You fools got nothing. Job, jerk it. There we go. Now we're trying to trip. Enjoy the monkey. Come on, Crunch. Stick the land. He's going to do some damage now. Anybody want a piece of me now? Thanks for the ride, but uh, I gotta go. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, it, it, you know, like the game's fun, but all of a sudden this cheese just feels really like. I don't know, it feels like. Oh, you can pitch it. You can pitch your. I can, you, you know, pitch the farts. <laughs> me, dear fellow. I seem to have found this rather sinister evil crash outfit. I would never use it as it's not part of my character. Besides, it doesn't fit in the derriere. Pity. I do think it would work wonders on you, dear boy. For mere tuppence, you may purchase it to commit evil deeds. Evil? Nega crash outfit. Sure, why not? Yes, now that's what I call a fine deal. This will look smashing on you, dear boy. 
Now, don't have too much fun with it. Cheerio. There we go. So, how many racetracks are there per world? Belly flop. Or don't double jump. Three tracks per world. Okay, so I finished all the tracks of this world then. things ow <laughs> what'd that do Oh, is this the shortcut? So do I have to go back and use it now or can I? What happens if I use it? Do I get any, any bonus things or? I'll show up in Crash Fires. I hope they show in later Rumble Seasons. I don't know if the elementals are going to show up. So, funny enough, I've been, uh, so I've been talking, you know, I, I've been talking a lot, you know, recently just, you know, about this stuff. I actually haven't been talking about the upcoming videos that I have. So let me, uh, let me break down some things that I'm doing. Um, There, there is still people that have a very bitter taste in their mouth from my most recent Spyro content, which to me, genuinely, I don't know. It, it, I get it, but I also don't get it. You know, there's a part of me that feels upset that, you know people are acting like as if I've never been like I haven't been doing this for you know been talking about all the rumors and stuff so it it kind of like blows my mind a little bit but I digress um, I, I, I try to do a follow-up video I try to explain it people didn't seem to care for the explanation so it was just kind of just like, all right, well, now what? <laughs> um, so I'm like, okay, well, so what I'm going to be doing, and then I made a video about Crash Team Rumble, and people didn't want to care about that any at all either. So I'm just kind of like, all right. So there's almost that feeling of like, well, so there's no pleasing you. That's what it feels like. Um, so my next video is not a Crash nor Spyro video. The next video I'm doing is actually a Sly Cooper video. And breaking a whole bunch of stuff down on that because there's... Th there's something that I, that I kind of came to the conclusion on when it came to specifically the Sly Cooper... Um, uh, the Sly Cooper movie. And there's something that I kind of was reading about and came to the conclusion on because as some of you may know, I have, was in the 3D animation industry in the past. I know how to the, I know how it works. 
and I know what um, I know what uh, the ins and outs of it. And in doing that, I can kind of get an idea as to what happened with the Sly Cooper movie. And based off of what a director said, or the director said, there was something that I found out that kind of made me upset. Uh, and I think that it would it's going to make other Sly Cooper fans upset as well. And I'm not trying to get like get people to get upset for no reason. There's a reason why that... I'm personally upset. Some people might not be upset. I am. Oh, I'm sorry. And, and then we're going to be doing a probably a Crash Bandicoot video, just a typical Crash Bandicoot, not Crash Team Rumble. And then we might be doing a banjo video, but I think that we're going to be starting to uh, pull away from doing the just like crash and spiral content because people are just there's a lot of hate right now and a lot of vitriol that I don't want to deal with I genuinely don't want to deal with it and I'm I was you know I'm heartbroken because I wanted to do a whole bunch of speculation videos and talking about spiral 4 but after my most recent videos all it's done for me at the moment is think that now is not the time for it because well the the onslaught that of comments that I got that were quite negative kind of deterred me from it from now which again blows my mind because again I've been talking about Crash and Spyro now for how long now right so Oh geez, there's a lot. There seems to be a lot of chickens. So, what I'm basically going to be doing is I'm going to be basically challenge failed. Well, whatever. Well, no, gaming pets. Because the the problem is, is that when the problem is, is that that air. I don't want the satisfaction of. Uh, I don't want that satisfaction, and the reason why I don't want that satisfaction is because before when I guessed something and was told that I was wrong about it, and then when it came out to be true, it didn't matter. It didn't matter because people, the same people didn't say a word there was no you know what you were right cg and i'm you know th there was no oh you were right cg or whatever there, there was none of that it was just ignored and then the next time i go to talk about something it gets dunked on again so it gets to the point where it's like what's the point right it's kind of like what's the point because i was right about spiral re uh, reignited i was right about i'm not even gonna say crash team racing because i couldn't even have enough time to speculate i was right about Crash Bandicoot 4 and the fact that it was called Crash Bandicoot and the four four and the Crash Bandicoot 4 and the fact that it would take over after warp, but that didn't matter. Uh, I was right about Wumpa League when I was screaming about Wumpa League over and over and over and over again. And again, there was no there was no you know you know you're you were right and I'm sorry about that. No, it was just silence. And then as soon as I started speculating about the next thing same people would come back and start saying about how XYZ. And so, well, yes, there are 79,000 people that follow me. I understand. The recent two videos that, that I've made have not performed well. Like, that's, that's, like, not mincing words here. They didn't perform well. So, there's, in my opinion, sort of a clear, um, a disconnect somewhere. Because the most, uh, the most recent, um, Crash Team Rumble video 
hasn't even cracked 10k views, right? Like, and that's a little heartbreaking for me because, you know, typically, typically, um, typically we can do a lot better than that. So, there has to be a change somewhere. And I'm tired of, I'm tired of when I go to upload a video feeling dread. Does that make sense? I'm tired of when I go to upload a video feeling dread because I feel like that people are just going to start dunking on it left, right, and center. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of um, seeing mutuals that at one point called me a friend pointing and making fun of it. And people say, oh, it's just memes. It's just jokes, man. It's not, it's not anything beyond that. But when everybody says that, when everyone says it's just a joke, it's when everyone just, you know, poke, does a little, it's like, oh, I just did a little poke. It, you know, it wasn't that bad. When you have a thousand people doing a little poke, it doesn't feel little, right? It feels, it feels a lot. So... I'm not bowing out of the crash and Spyro scene. I'm definitely not doing that. But there's almost a feeling of Not hiatus, but made of if you dream about plutonium all the time. I certainly do. Oh, thank you, Mr. Crash. Thank you. Here are your glorious coins. Yep, yeah, I've seen it, uh, Dahlia Black. I've seen it. And it's not, it's not fun. It's not fun. I appreciate that, Matthew King Alexander. I really do appreciate that. I'm not leaving the Crash and Spiral viewer base. Good job, big brother. Start up a race so we can go kick some tailless butt. But I definitely, I definitely feel the need to have to take a step back a little bit. Now, that doesn't mean I'm going to start doing a whole bunch of other content and not continue to do Crash and Spiral content, but you might start to see this, the Crash and Spiral content slow down a bit. And not because I don't want to talk about it. Um, but... I don't want to feel dread when I go to upload a video. I I don't want to feel dread when I go to upload a video. I don't want to feel the need to have to... Hey, Drama Source. I don't want to feel the need I have to make that... Like, that video that I made, the clarifying my Spiral 4 statement. And... It, People were spreading all over on Reddit that all it was was me just, you know, um, misplacing the information and, like, making sure that, um, like, I was shifting blame. And I sat there, I was like, when, when did I shift blame? When did I sit there and shift the blame onto anybody? And who did I shift the blame onto? It was a whole thread dedicated to that. And I just sat there confused. I'm like, what do you mean shifting blame? Like, it doesn't even make sense to me.
so there's this feeling of okay there's something that is not Yeah, yeah, there was someone that was mad at me for buying a 3D printer. And uh, they, they, they were like, yeah, those cost like $5,000. I was like, what? Oh, no, they don't. Well, while I'm here, why don't you listen to a little proposition? You bandicoots have a thing for power crystals, right? You bring me the keys to this mean machine Von Clutch is parked here. And I'll give you this crystal I found. I'm like, uh, like that blows my mind that, you know, and then it, people would just be like, oh, yeah, you know. You're right, Fortitude, and I spent almost half that much for this printer. So... Uh, happily ever fast that Okay, so I gotta go to happily ever faster. Okay, gotcha. So what I'm trying to say is that there might be a bit of a change in the channel. And if you, and if you notice that, yeah, yes, there is a, a very specific reason as to why. I'm tired of feeling dread when I go to upload content. I'm tired of feeling the 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 Spyro Four backlash was something I didn't expect, nor did I want, and I'm still shocked that I got it. I don't understand. And no one's given me really a good explanation without shifting the goalposts. Because every time I say, hey, okay, people are like, oh, we didn't like that you did this. I say, okay, but then what about this? Well, then it's a different reason. Then, okay, fine. Then what about this? Oh, then it's a different reason. And the, it, the, there's a whole bunch of you know go goalposts shifting constantly. And... I'm just like, what's the, what's the point? So. It's. And like I said, I tried to explain it. I tried to show like, hey, here is what likely happened. I can't take a break from YouTube altogether. I wish I could. Gaming Pass. I, I, I wish I could, but this is my full-time job. Right? So if this is my full-time job, I can't just turn around and say, alright guys, uh, I'm just, uh, you know, I'm just gonna not do anything. Okay, bye. I can't I can't afford that, <laughs> right? This isn't something that, you know, is just a, oh yeah, this is a side gig of mine, or this is a side hobby of mine. No, this is my full-time job. So if this is my full-time job, I can't just walk away. Listen, I'll say this. There is a quote that I heard. That is very true. And 
I'm tr I'm trying to to live more by it, but it is so hard for me. And it's don't argue with idiots because they'll bring you down to their level and beat you at it. To unlock the mystery island jump. Sure. There we go. Oh, are we doing an Indiana Jones swap? There we go. Like, for example, um, and I and I hate this and I hate feeling like this um, because I wanted to actually sit down and do a big old long video doing a video just breaking down hey here's all the secrets the spiral reignited here's how to get all the achievements and how to get all the skill points because apparently um, there's a strongly backed rumor and suggestion that Spiral Reignited is going to Game Pass next week. Like, do you know how awesome that is? Do you know how huge that is? That is amazing. And to me, I think that that is amazing. And I wanted to do a video kind of being like, hey, okay, it's out at Game Pass. Here's everything. If there's a difficult if there was a difficult spot here it is um if there's uh you know these are skill points here's what they are because i'm thinking that the xbox you know people that majority play on xbox may not be familiar with spyro and may be interested and i wanted to do like a big old long video just showing like hey here's how you do this and this and this and this and this but Unfortunately, unfortunately, um, there's a an aspect that's kind of just like, well, I don't know if I can do that. I don't know if I should. Because I just feel nothing but that dread I don't want to feel that dread but I do so kind of going on a little bit of uh, a welcome everyone in this one kind of just an alternative An alternative thought process and an alternative creative avenue. It's hard to it's hard to explain. It's hard to explain how I'm feeling about it all. But I know for a fact that I would not ever try to trick anybody or deceive anybody or try to say anything maligned or malicious or do anything to do that and I'm tired of people saying that that's what I do you know that's something that's very tiresome where I, I try my best and I'll admit I'm not I'm not always right I mess up and I I screw up but yeah. <laughs> Whose idea was this? Not trying to sound whiny or anything. 
Not trying to be like, oh, woe is me. I'm just kind of just like, like, I just, I feel bummed out. Because there's an aspect that feels like I'm getting... There's an aspect that feels like I'm being... That people are trying to shove me out of my... Of a fan base that I absolutely adore. And while I understand, I understand that there's a more majority of a positive force, feeling an increase in a negative force doesn't feel good either. Does that make sense? I hope it does. Once upon a tire. Stay focused, Crunch. Just seeing if you're away. Oh. Naira Yoshi donated twenty Australian dollars to Super Chat. Thank you. People might not always like your ideas or what you might do, but people can say what they want. What matters most is what you say. Stay awesome, CG. Thank you. I, I, I do appreciate that. Thank you. I do appreciate that. And you guys do help make me feel better about it. It just... It does suck. It sucks. Right? And I think that that's okay for me to say. Like, it sucks. And, again, thank you. Thank you so much. It is... I'm, I'm super grateful for all your support. It says that this is your 10th Super Chat. That's amazing. Thank you. Thank you for the kind words and the kind gesture. That is amazing. Thank you. I really do appreciate that. People might suck, but that doesn't mean that you do. Thanks. Thank you. That's very... Very sweet of you. Thank you. It just sucks that people suck. No chance, Turkish. This is mine. I burninated that jump. <laughs> now my blood. I love it when a plan comes together. <laughs> Literally just straight up A team. Fell forever from being miserable and wanting to drag you down with them. Yeah, I suppose. I get that. It's a lot easier said than done for, you know, the, if, you know, if I want to do them, just do them. It's like, yes, yes, I do want to do them. But there's an aspect that feels like it's kind of like, you know what? I want nothing more than to, there is nothing more I would like 
than to just help. That's it. I want to help people understand. I want to help people know what's happening. I want people to know. I want people to, to have hope in something that's realistic. I mean, that's why with for my Crash Team Racing video, I was trying to be as realistic as possible. I wasn't trying... I was... Aww. Elena donated $20 through Super Chat. Thank you, Elena. Thank you, guys. Thank you. A little something to say. I agree with now. Yoshi, stay awesome, Alpha. Don't forget that your pack is always has your back as well as others. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. That's very, very, very generous and sweet of you guys. Thank you. I'm hoping... I am hoping that one day I can... I'm excited for, I'm excited for the day when Spyro 4 gets announced. Not as a ha, I told you so, so as a, I could talk about it as much as I want without a, a whole thread being dedicated. Thank you, Gaming Pest, for the, for the $2. I appreciate that. Here, here, we got your back. Thank you. I just, I can't wait for Spyro 4 to be announced just so that I can freely talk about the game without being lamb basted constantly with comments about every aspect about you know me like oh about my Sparrow 4 report but the hope The hope is that we will hear about some hear about it in some official capacity relatively soon. And then it's like okay, now we can we can talk about it. I got a boat or submarine submarine Oh, I thought that was the final lap. Oh, I made a grand, I made a dubious error. This monkey's gonna explode, yeah. Speaking of, speaking of, anyone watch WrestleMania? <laughs> I know I did. Oh, jeez. Oh, boy. Say you like it. Thank you, Harper Onions. Thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate that. Thank you. That main event, met you. that main event, was so good, 
So good. Finished! Let's take a look at how Malifor is doing. Let's see, Let's see how Malifor is doing. So far, so good. <laughs> Go on, start crying. So far, so good. Nothing. Nothing failing. Nothing malformed. Yeah. So mal. So malafor seems to be doing pretty good so far. Printer came. Yeah. Yeah. This. Printer is awesome. An it Gnuts print. I would love to. In the future, I would love to open up a, a 3D print store. Oh, yeah. Seeing Cody hit the last crossroads. Here's the thing. These guys know how to milk it and they know how to milk a crowd. And I and I love it. Crash just straight up. Oh jeez. And just literally that first crossroads, second crossroads, and then the third one, he's standing up and he's shaking and he's screaming. He's Aah! it's like it's like it's like this is it. This is the moment, and he knows it. Everybody knows it. Everyone's like, do it! Do it! Third crossroads. One, two, three. Ding, ding, ding. And your new undisputed WWE champion, Cody Rhodes. Awesome. How much did it cost to make the sword from all the materials? The sword was about a kilo. So, uh, the sword was about a kilo of filament, which is two pounds of filament, two, well, two, two pounds and change. Um, and in terms of cost, that's about $25 in materials and just pure material. That's not including printing time, electricity cost. Maintenance for your printer, etc., etc. Details, details. Some restrictions apply. Hey, you're that crush bandicooter fella, ain't you? Well, I got a little something for that private dancer in your life. So this here pink ballerina number is perfect for any man or mutant, and I'll let it go for a very reasonable price. So yeah, so this is a spool of filament. Uh, we're almost out of this one, but this is like kind of like a teal-esque. This was, um, after shipping and handling, this color was $25. Um, this was $25. Um, I got this purple fill. I got the white, this white filament for 20, 20 bucks. And then I have two spools of purple filament that I got for $15 a piece because I bought it in a package deal. Uh, so because of that, so because I got, uh, uh, because of that, uh, I, got for about, yeah, I got for about $15 a piece. And that sword... How long does one spool of twenty-five dollars spool last? So, so what's likely the most expensive part? Just the startup, buying the machine and software. Software is free. Uh, prints are typically free. The machine itself you can get for about six hundred five to six hundred dollars, and then it's twenty dollars for a kilo of filament. Um, filament lasts. It just depends on how big your prints are. So if you're doing small prints like this, like, you know, th this print took about 
two hours, right? Um, specifically the printer that I got though, which is the Bamboo Lab, which the Bamboo Lab is absolutely like hands down right now the one one of if not the best consumer printer right now it is rocking the market. It's basically whenever you go to their website, they're they're sold out. Uh, yeah, so, so it's that, and then you can also expand on how much you spend, right? So, um, I use probably, I print a lot, like I'm printing a lot of things just for the sake of printing because I think it's fun, and I probably go through about, Two spools a month? Three spools a month? If I'm if I'm doing just regular printing, I could probably go a spool and a half or two. If I'm printing like crazy, I'd be going about three spools a month. So Making props sounds like fun, especially you can set the cosplayers. Well, that's one thing about doing. That's one thing about doing. I'm, I'm. Time to learn who the real champ is. Oh yeah, you know, 3D printing back in the day used to be ridiculous to get into, but now all of a sudden, in the past, like especially the past two, three years, it ban like, like I am a total like, I am a total like simp for uh, Bamboo Labs right now, like. I just, I love their business model. I love their products. Um, uh, you know, if, if they turned around and said, hey, we want to sponsor a stream, I would figure out a way to include it into a video or a stream or whatnot. I would try my best to figure it out. Like, if they were like, hey, uh, every time you push our ad, we'll send you a spool of filament. I'd be like, dope, no problem. Like, like that's because, you know, I like them as a. I like their brand. I like the brand. I like the, how the way they operate. I love their machines. So, yeah, it's called Bamboo Lab, but it's bamboo with a U. So B A M B U, bamboo. Just add to my wish list. There we go. See. Is it hard to make a blueprint for the uh, print? I'll be honest with you, not really. Once you figure it out, like once you kind of figure it out, like you can use AutoCAD, you can use Maya, you can just, if you know how to rip models, uh, sometimes you can literally just rip the model and you're good to go. Uh, sometimes you require, um, sometimes it requires a bit more because maybe the model might be a little too weak. So you might have to add some supports or whatnot. Stop it, fool. There's still, of course, a learning curve. You have to understand some technicalities. You have to understand why things fail and one thing why things succeed. It's like, oh yeah, why did this print fail? Oh yeah, I didn't have enough supports to hold this thing up. So because of that, now I know that next time I need to put supports on this thing or, hey, you know, I tried this and it didn't really work out. Okay, why didn't it work out? Here's why. It's not like... But yeah, you can learn how to model. I mean, I learned how to model things within bamboo itself with using just simple geom like simple geometry. I was able to make a couple of things that were just literally just from blocks and squares and cylinders and that's it. Would you lousy primates stop doing that? Wake up, crunch. 
Asking because me and my dad kind of want a printer. Don't know what he wants to print, but I want to print Pokemon and various game things like Keyblades, Omni Wrenches, and Precursor Orbs. Absolutely, the bam like the Bamboo Labs again. I you know. It, 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 boy, howdy! If you thought I was an Activision shill, let me tell you something. I would shill over Bamboo any day almost. So, uh, yeah, like literally, it was like, hey, let's make an orb. Why? Because I can. And there we go. And again, I set this up and I planed it on the bottom so that it would just literally just be there, done. And it sets, just sits up. It doesn't fall, right? It sits. It doesn't fall. It's good to go. It's fun. Uh, I have a Goku uh, print over here. I have, um, like I said, I got the, the Mando helmet over here. Like, I'm running out of space because of all the 3D printing that I'm doing. Uh, I got half an armor set for Mandalorian. Right? I, I got half an armor set for uh, my Mandalorian. Um... I made a Mando Blaster. And again, I made that Riddler cane. Out of curiosity, if you were to have a side business with your 3D printer, would you do commissions? Yes, actually. Um, I and In fact, I am thinking about doing it. I'm thinking about that. Um, just seeing. Why not? Let's see if something... Something's... You know, if people are interested... People are interested in commissions or people are interested in me building stuff for them. I enjoy doing that. I enjoy it. It's fun to do. I enjoy it. I like it. It's not, you know, it's something I can do in between while my videos are rendering or if I have to wait for, you know, if I'm waiting for someone to send me a video, I can, you know, 3D print. You know, I wouldn't make a full-time gig, but, you know. Yeah, I, I, I would definitely try to, you know, if people wanted to, like if people wanted, like, hey, I want a Frostmourne. Okay, cool. Let's figure out how, you know, how much that would cost you, right? And oof. Thank you, Kari. I appreciate that. I'm just I'm just trying to figure out what um, what way because I also know Etsy does a uh, I know that Etsy also does like a lot of like big uh, big commissions. I know that uh, Time to learn who the real champ is. I know that um, what's it called? Like I said. I've heard some people suggest Shopify. For some people, uh, suggest Shopify. Crunch is on the case. Feel that thing? That's prime. Wee. Yeah, this is for PlayStation 2 and I think GameCube as well. I love this track. Hello, definitely not Maleficent. Yeah, totally not Maleficent. I don't know what you're talking about. Melifa who? Bye, Von Clutch. Yeah.
Ow. Oh, did it have an Xbox release? I didn't even know that. The more you learn. Nia's weapon to try, what is it? Is it just, just straight up a shotgun? Well, I hit someone with it. Yeah, it's literally just a just a straight up a shotgun. That's what I'm talking about. Oh jeez. Jab turkey. Put in some milk, children. Get strong, boss. Got it. Nice try, fool. Nice try, fool. Uh, let me see here. Uh, hold on. Let's take a look at Malifor again. So as you can see now, we got we got the plate done. Now we're getting to the second, kind of like the second tiered plate. So we'll go to preview here. We are at about there. Actually, where are we at? We're on layer 39. Yep. So this is where we're at right now on the print. That's where we're at. And it will eventually go. And of course, the green things come off. There's just supports, but they, they just pop off. And they're hollow. They're just meant to help to keep the things up so that they don't, uh, you know, so they can actually print. And I have these little things here. They're all over the place. They're like little trees. And all they are is they're just, as you can see, they're just real easy. They're hollow. And they have, and they just pop off the print real nice. <laughs> and that's it. I, I'm i holding on to them because there is a way you can re-extrude them to basically turn them into uh, new filament again, but it... Hmm. Come on. Dang it. I, kn I was reading earlier about how I messed up. I'm not sure if it was Midas that told me, and I was hoping that maybe that uh, if I, if there was one more box, maybe, but it doesn't look like it. The jump pad requires 10 crystals to be unlocked. How many do I have? Hey, a 
fella. Thanks for coming by. You gonna buy something? Come on, I need this. My wife is gonna leave me if you don't buy something from me. Oh, I just need one more. Sweet. Oh, thank you, buddy. Thank you so much. You have no idea how much I needed this. I lost a bundle buying internet stock. And then, I don't know, being an evil henchman seemed like a good idea. One second. Um... Um, one second here. Yeah, my, uh, I'm shocked as to how much, uh, uh, I'm shocked as to how much, uh, what's it called? Um, how much my Sly Cooper tweet popped off i am i'm i'm shocked about it because it was i just quickly like kind of mentioned it in passing it was just like oh yeah by the way this is kind of like my next like project that i'm working on and th this is kind of what uh you know kind of what you know what i discovered and that was it i just posted that you know just a quick little like just a mention of what i said and then all of a sudden the tweet just popped off i'm like why is this popping off so much like are people like like wow that's i mean I, like i'm happy but i'm shocked that you know m my one tweet about it is got over like 600 likes so i pfft, have to see how uh what why is buddy in a fairy outfit here and he's just hung up here and he's not moving. Unless that's the outfit that he was talking about for engine, because otherwise I was like, did we just are, did we just witness like something horrible? What stream are you planning to do tomorrow? I'm not sure. Spin the rope. I did I not do that? I thought I did. Hold on. Ah. Just straight up, just. Jeez. But I love how he's just like T posing here. It looks like it looks like it's a corpse. Like goodness gravy. Just straight up, just drop him on his head. Ah, uh, yes, the playback. I love it when it's leggy. I, I ate my double jump. Awesome. On. This emulator is not liking this game. Jeez. Okay. That was weird. Oh. 
<laughs> Rapunzel. Ow. That seemed a little cruel. I can now go to the area that I messed up on. Trying to get up there to get the Wampa Whip. I mean, it's just like, ah, ouch, why? All right, one second, hold on. I'm going to save real quick, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look at my settings and be like, hey, there are settings. Why are you not set? Why are you not doing the things that settings are supposed to do, which is not, you know, burn and die, please. I need you to function. Hold on. Okay, that's fine. That seems fine. Fine. Uh, fine. Fine. Fine, okay. Uh... No. Aha! Uh... going on Try something real quick. I'm gonna go like this and go with let's give that a shot. See if that helps. Oh no. Oh no, this is significantly worse. Why? Go back. Go back. All 
All right, well. We'll just deal with it. Hey, Jay the Duck, how's it going? Hey, let's go this way-ish, maybe. Good night, Hotshot. Thanks for stopping by. All right, let's go over here. You spin me right around. All right, what do you want? You're that crash guy, right? Well, uh, you're looking for power crystals? Will uh, I? I kind of owe a lot of money to some uh, some people right now, so uh, I really need to sell these crystals. <laughs> you're gonna take my thumbs, please. Buy this from me, please. <laughs> They're gonna take my thumbs. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> you have no idea how much I need this right now. <sighs> take this stupid crystal, it's yours. I'm going to get a pizza. You know what, that's a mood. In fact, I would also like to get a pizza, but should I? Should I get a pizza? Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Do I get a pizza? Hmm. Some of these henchmen are really going through it. Yeah. Earn points and protect the genies by shooting the parachuting dynamite monkeys. The game ends when less than two genies remain. Move and aim and press X to shoot. You deserve the pizza. Do I, though? No TNT. Get the pizza, it is a requirement. <laughs> well, you know what? Chat, I do, I wouldn't mind a pizza. However, however, there is one thing that I, one person I must speak with first. And it's not because I am not allowed to get a pizza. It's that if I order out and Madame Pergrananat does not get what she also wants, I will likely have to deal with the wrath of the couch. Actually, no, I've never slept on the couch before. <laughs> I've never slept on the couch uh, uh, before because as my wife says, she, you know, she said in the past, I'd send you to the couch, but you're warm. So, <laughs> hold on. Uh, I'm, I'm, I mentioned her by name, and all right. So, hold on. Let me message her now. Hold on. Yeah, I remember you, Jay the Duck. You. Yeah. <laughs> 
My wife, I just said, I just said. How to tell when your wife is pregnant. Hey, I'm hungry. Do you want, would, do you want a pizza? How dare you? Yes. <laughs> Her first message was how dare you? Followed by yes. Okay, hold on. I can't break the bag. She just said, I want a fat milkshake and I want to bathe in curly fries. Listen. <laughs> but pizza works. Okay. I'm like, I can't afford a milkshake, curly fries, and pizza. You can't afford that. Yes, I want all the pizza. I want a fat milkshake. I want a bathe in curly fries. I said, okay, let's not break the bank, but pizza works. Listen, listen. I got maybe two weeks left before I drop a baby. <laughs> uh, my wife's awesome. <laughs> She's also hilarious. What a champion. I know, right? That's okay, Jay. Don't worry about that. Monkey. Oh, I didn't know if I spam, I lost my streak. I didn't realize that. If I would have known that, I, would never, I wouldn't have spam like that. Is there an end? That does sound awesome, but I can't afford that right now. I'm up here, Nintendo. It's, you know, it's Crystal Saber. It's a matter of pride. You are right. That is exactly it. Ah, well. I'll take it. Why do I have a chicken? Let's come back and crash this holding a chicken. Oh, by the by, uh, do a subscriber check. Double check to see if you are subscribed to the channel because we are relatively close to, uh, we are what? To... 
we are 22 subs away from hitting 79,000 subscribers. So do a subscriber check to see if you're subscribed and if you want to subscribe. Um, we are 22 subs away from hitting 79,000. It'd be really cool if we could hit that tonight. Star 15 just donate $8. Go enjoy that milk chicken curly fries on the house. Star. 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 Thank you. That's sweet of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I hope you get the 100k someday because you deserve it. So do I. I hope one day too. Alright. Let me... All right, let me quickly run to the bathroom and just check to see where we would order this from. So I will be right back. I'll be right back. So enjoy Crash's arm farts. You're welcome. <laughs> Ha <laughs> 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 
Elena, donate $10 super chat. Thank you. Thank you so much. Sorry about that. I had to quickly uh, look at. There was um, there was uh, another place that we tried a while ago. And boy, howdy, was it expensive. And we tried it. And it was fine. Has anyone ever heard of uh, Triple O's? Has anyone heard of it? Because, boy howdy, we ordered from them, and they weren't bad. Um, but they weren't, like, spectacular either. And I ordered two, um, I ordered, uh, yeah, the burger joint, yeah. 
We ordered two combos and delivered to us. It was almost sixty dollars, and I was like, "What?" And then we tried it, and it was good. It was like, like don't get me wrong, it was good. Like it was decent, but it wasn't. It wasn't like, like you know, knock out of the park. But it was fine. But I was like, you know, sixty dollars for a. Uh, oh yeah, and a milkshake, and a milkshake. That's right, we ordered a milkshake. That's why I was thinking of it, is because my wife really enjoyed the milkshake. And so I was, but the burgers were just like, like $60 for two burgers and a thing. I was like, geez. a fine time in Stinkerbell's kingdom. Perhaps a souvenir of your visit is in order. I dare say your sister would well love this fine outfit. <laughs> it means these clothes are nice, so you should buy them for your sister, idiot. Jeez. Sure, why not? Good sir. Thou hast done a great thing this day. Thine sister will dance hither and yon in these beautiful robes. Huh? Oh, just get out of here, you freak. Jeez, all right. No, oh, my cerebellum. My cerebellum. Slightly used. Well, here you go, Mr. Man. One stolen power crystal for use by you wherever and whenever you feel like. Okay, as for me, just forget we ever talked, eh? This way. By the way, randomly, I because just because I saw this interaction on Twitter, Kiwi Dragon, are you still here or not? Just curious, because I saw just because of an interaction I saw on Twitter earlier. I am I the the reason why there was an interaction I saw earlier. Now, as you guys know, I enjoy wrestling. I enjoy watching my wrestling. I like my wrestling. It's fun. It's goofy, I know, but it's fun. But there was like a drama that happened in the wrestling like community that it, everyone is like arguing over. And when it happened, everyone was like, should this even happen? Would this even happen? And then when it was announced to happen and they showed it, it was a nothing burger. And everyone's like, what? So basically... I don't even know how I can explain it really in a short period of time, but basically there was a fight that happened and the between two people, one guy got like suspended. The other guy went to WWE later on and this guy commented about what happened on an interview on a podcast and the old guy got so angry that he decided to show like the um what's it called the uh uh hey stanley's been a member for 48 months he goes four years and 20 days nice i would stay but i've been lightheaded lately take care now well i appreciate you stopping by at least thank you so much thank you thank you thank you um yeah, okay, there we go. So, Chocolate Zombie. Oh, yes, the Punk Perry footage. So, these two got into a fight, and one went to WWE, and one went and st it got suspended and stayed there. And the guy in the WWE, he was asked a bunch of questions on an interview about what happened. He answered, and 
the person that runs the other promotion kind of got mad and decided, hey, let's show the behind the scenes of what actually happened. And then everyone was expecting this big old thing and it was just exactly as described by CM Punk and that was it. And it was like, like they were getting everyone excited, like the truth revealed, here we go. Everything's about to be revealed, and then they revealed it, and it was exactly as CM Punk described it as. So it was just kind of like that. That was it. Like that's it. And that was it. And there was no like everyone's like this was what the drama was for. The drama was over the thing that you know the one person admitted in an interview as to what happened. And you're acting like as if like, oh, we're going to show the truth of what actually happened. And it was like exactly what how we described it. So everyone's just kind of like, so what was the point of this? Like, what was the point of rehashing all this on a live television six months later? What was the point? And I'm like, I don't, I don't know why this was decided upon like this didn't make sense in my opinion I mean some people said it makes sense I don't know why I don't know why something that's been like dead to the community for like six months now and over and done with and then it gets brought back up again oh hey cutie you ever seen me driving on those tracks there boy I tell you I am the meanest thing on the streets and if you thought that was something, wait till you see me driving this hog around. Trouble is, I need me a power crystal to get her started. You don't got one, do you? Sure. Here you go, Pasadena. Woo! Now then there's the prettiest little power crystal I ever seen. Thanks a bunch, fuzzy drawers. This thing is gonna be the fastest piece of Texas you ever seen. Pasadena old possum. Yay! Rum rum. Why crash bandicoot? Sneaking up on a girl could get you in trouble. She's from Texas. Oh, it's that outfit for Coco. Gotcha. The, that that's one of the outfits uh, that she also had in Crash Team. Uh, uh, Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled. Looking back at, uh, you know, what's something that I wish I was able to do for Rumble, uh, or do more for Rumble was doing the um. One second. It, 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 it. Go this way. I'm getting messaged by two different people. I'm like, okay. For you are in store. Great beasts and volcanoes galore. As I say with a grin, try hard, you might win. Though your butt will probably be sore. <laughs> Man, that wampa cheek dude freaks me out. <laughs> Just don't let him touch you. 
<laughs> just, just don't let them touch you. Just don't. In this brutal world, contestants struggle with primeval racetracks like fossil fuel injection, La Brea car pits, and the treacherous tie and ice. Keep sharp, players. There's even a battle arena to test your metal. <laughs> Hold on. Everything's okay. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Oof. Oh, I didn't want to catapult a cow! What? 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 Why would we do that to, to the poor beast? Hey, Crash, give the crunch some help. Some no good fool done stole my pinky bear. Crunch can't sleep without his pinky bear. Go find it for me. I'll give you a crystal. It's the kind you like. All sparkly stuff. No <laughs> sp Pinky Bear. Do we just kill engine here? Crash! You idiot! You crushed the car on my dummy thick! Head and now the clap of my wampas will never happen again. Greetings, Crash Bandicoot of the future. This is first of your great great grandpappy, Grunt Bandicoot of prehistoric times. I like give to you, but I need Botox treatment. Pay the cost in Wumpa coin. And I'd like giving furs to you. Do you know the way? <laughs> Can we get a Ugandan Crash Bandicoot? You <laughs> lit. Console version of Rash Tag. <laughs> this is supposed to be Crash, but Rash Tag Team Racing is uh. Oh, that's not a diorama. It's just a die without the Rama. <laughs> This way, all around. That I did the, the camera did okay. Y Why well, somehow didn't die? Hey, crash! I got a little offer for you. When I was cleaning the toilets, I came across this beauty of a power crystal. From the you toilet? Give me enough money to leave this dump, and it's all yours. Hmm. Man, everyone's just like, please pay me money so I can leave. Buddy, I am so happy. 
me to unload this thing and get out of here. I swear, it's like 200 degrees in this suit, huh? When my shift is up, I'm on the first bus out of this death trap. You have fun here, though. Thanks. Appreciate it. All right, ladies and gents. So, we are running out of time, but that allows us to go to Q and R questions and rants. You know what that means? It means that you can ask me almost a question, and I'll try my best to answer it. I've set the timer. So, ask away. I'll try my best to answer, try my best to be as honest and true as possible. Why is this being not honest and true to me? Dude, fire and it's gonna hurt. Sorry. Crash game sound effects have some sound effects from the Simpsons hit and run. There were some familiar sound effects, definitely. Please tell me you cleaned the crystal. <laughs> I hope so. Biggest guilty pleasure. I used to say wrestling, but it's not so guilty anymore because it's been really cool lately. Nice to see you. Thank you, Milk Dad. I appreciate that. Thank you. I done it all up. I, I, I gussied myself up today. Uh, what are your thoughts on the official 3DS and Wii U servers now being shut down? I mean, it sucks, but it's inevitable. I mean, it's not like we all expected it for it to last forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. It's the new, um, it's the new norm. So, eh, not, not eh, but it's just kind of like, it is what it is, you know? Do your kids like books? David likes books. Hope's like co Hope likes coloring in the books. Jonathan likes ripping the books. So they all like books in different ways. Should I buy Tag Team Racing? Why not? Sure, if you're buying them all. I'm going to stream tomorrow and what are you going to do? CTTR. So I'm not going to do CTTR tomorrow, but I am going to stream tomorrow. What I'm going to stream. I don't know. I've been debating on how I've been feeling. I, you know, I know that peop some people have been suggesting we revisit Pal World. I know that some people want. Uh, I know some people want me to do. Um. Some regular. Uh, or some different stuff. So I don't know. I don't know. Yes, the stream is already over. It's 11 o'clock. We're doing a Q&R. We'll see. What's some of your favorite things about your Discord server? Oh, the people, obviously. Um, but beyond just the people, um, I, I like how um, everything is moderated. I like how chill it is. I like how people are awesome and kind and then... We hop in, if I hop into VC and all of a sudden everyone hops in, it's great. I love it. Yes, I will revisit Banjo Kazooie. I will. I will. I just. I want to do it with my wife because my wife loves Banjo Kazooie, and it was fun to play. You know, when she sat and watched and we played together, that was fun. Um, and right now she's super duper pregnant and because she's super duper pregnant, she can't really sit for too, too long. So she's in a lot of pain. So after, you know, after the baby, uh, comes, I think it'd be a nice thing to kind of sit down and do it again. The Sun Dark Spiral arriving in a new game as a separate from Spiral, possibly a real life nemesis. I like the idea of Dark Spiral being a secret boss in Spiral titles. Like, I think that that, to me, would be a really, really, um, um, I think that would be really cool. 
Do you own any of the Resaurus Crash Bandicoot action figures? Do I? I let me. Do I, I don't think I do. Hold on a second. Oh goodness, no, no, I don't, I don't own these. No, I don't. I, so. I, so Canada doesn't get a lot of these, uh, a lot of these action figures. We didn't. Um, in fact, I've never seen them in like real life. I've never seen them. I've never handled them. I've, I've like I've seen them online, but I've never seen them in real life. And uh, uh, but they are cool. They are cool. Definitely very cool. Those are neat. No, I, it would be cool to, to have one one day. That would be cool. And three printing sand. Yep, that's what. That's the next stream. Actually, speaking of, let's take a uh, a quick update on Malifor real quick. How you doing, Mally? Oh, Malifor. We're two hours in the print. How you doing there, bud? So far, so good. The supports are looking good. So we are on layer 84. So if we were to look at this, this that would be right about there. Yeah, that would be right about there. Who would you love to see villain-wise? Crossovers are PS5 platformers. I think like having uh what's his face clockwork in there. Um clockwork is literally just I hate you and I'm going to kill your entire family line. And there's just something dark about that. There's something just like harsh about that where um you know clockwork is just this like a uh, terminator aspect that's like, you know, how long for Malform to be done? Malform. Uh, he's got another, it looks like six hours. Yep, he's got another six hours to go. Oh, yeah, she knows her, her banjo kazoo stuff. Absolutely. Is your uh, Charizard statue sitting pretty? Yes. And I and I see it and I turn it on and I, you know, I go, hee. And I think of Milk Dud and I appreciate it. So I, I still appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, in Lions, my first thought was Malifor, Malifor, let down your hair. Malifor, Malifor, let down your hair. Yeah, no, uh, uh, clockwork is, uh, there's, there's, I've always had this idea. So I had this idea for a Sly Cooper 4, um, that I thought would be really, really cool. And the idea that I thought of, would be that um, what I thought would be really cool is if we found out that clockwork is actually what I would do is that clockwork is the from the Egyptian times because to my knowledge the first thief in the Sly Cooper line was from Egypt what I thought would have been really cool is if there was a storyline now that uh, Sly Cooper's been sent to Egypt, what I always thought would be a really cool storyline is if he encounters um, his ancestor and his ancestor is an amateur at theft and he's awful at it. And Sly is like, what are you doing? You're supposed to be one of the greatest things of all time and you're, you're awful and Sly is the one that teaches him and uh, it starts, you know, Sly, it's a self-fulfilling prophecy. So Sly starts the Thievius Raccoonus for the first Egyptian guy. And one of the overseers for the Egyptian Pharaoh is clockwork or what would become clockwork. And he has such a livid hate for the Sly Cooper family. And uh, 
in how everything originally went, he would eventually time he would uh, you know change his body to survive through the ages to beat um to finish off and beat um the the coopers and what i thought would have been cool is that the end of sly cooper 4 is um sly getting back to the present but what comes with him is ancient clockwork and ancient clockwork comes with him without him knowing and then that leads into sly into a new sly cooper where it's ancient clockwork fusing himself with the eyes of the you know mechanized clockwork because the eyes are still around and it builds like this ultimate clockwork where he gains all the knowledge of the old clockwork but has the young youthful anger of the new of the ancient clockwork and you create this new villain that is the old and the future combined into one and it's creating you know the time waves are literally falling apart and breaking apart and um all possibilities are collapsing and clockwork has a psychotic idea of not, not only will i destroy the entire cooper clan i will destroy every possibility in every timeline for anybody related to the cooper clan or the cooper cooper family and that's how and then they come together and they stop and they stop clockwork and that was the idea was that i had was the idea was that clockwork would return but it was the original clockwork combining with like the future clockwork and you kind of get this meld that i thought would have been cool but that's just me though all right i got a few more minutes and i gotta get going what's your favorite thing you've 3d printed Ooh. Um. I think the Mando helmet is one of my favorite things. And the reason why I like the Mando helmet so much is because this is almost like the symbol of 3D printing. It's almost become the symbol of 3D printing. It's like when you start to do cosplay pieces... It's like most people do a Mando helmet or a Stormtrooper helmet, a Master Chief helmet or whatever. And I decided to do a Mandalorian. And it's because if you really think about it, Star Wars was a pinnacle, whether or not you're into Star Wars or not, Star Wars was really a pinnacle in nerd culture. Like nerd culture is something that is based on like Star Wars. Like if you got Star Wars... Uh, and Marvel, those are like if you put those two together, those giants. That's really such a such a foundational, um, you know, piece. Um, and so, when you're building cosplay pieces, when you're building cosplay pieces, you can't. You have to thank a lot of cosplay culture to Star Wars because of how many people dressed up as Jedis, how many people dressed up as Stormtroopers. And so it's almost like the litmus test. Like, can you make something Star Wars related? And uh, the answer for me, at least, was yes. Yes, I can. I can. And it's a one piece, one piece helmet that, in my opinion, looks really cool. So, um, I got the weathering done. There's some adjustments I still have to make to it. Like you can see, like it looks like greasers in the inside, grease lines and stuff. Looks a little battered, but not too too bad. It's got a nice reflection to it, and I like it. It's cool. So, this is like the the litmus test of. This is the litmus test, of. Um, 3D printing, in my opinion, kind of like the can you do this? The answer is yes. It's like then you then you know you've kind of hit that that barrier of entry almost. It's almost like uh, it's hard to explain. It's hard to explain, but there's something special with 3D printing 
Star Wars. I, I'm not even the biggest Star Wars nerd myself. I'm not. I love Mandalorian, but I'm not that big of a Star Wars ner nerd. Like I was, I had a hard time getting through Boba Fett, um, but we did. And I, I do enjoy Star Wars. I've seen most of uh, most of them. I haven't seen the last one yet because of how much I disliked Episode Nine. I think it was. I can't remember. Three, six, seven, eight. No, it was eight that I didn't like. But Mandalorian, very much enjoy. So, yeah, it's one of my favorite things to 3D print. So, all right, ladies and gentlemen, that is all the time that we have for, for today. I'm going to go upstairs and I'm going to order me some food because you guys were amazing. You guys were awesome. And you guys provided enough money for us to be able to enjoy ourselves tonight. To, uh, to treat ourselves a little bit, which my wife and I very much deeply appreciate. So... Without further ado, thank you so much for watching, everybody. And we'll see you guys in the next video and our live stream. Time for the countdown. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bye!